consistently throws out this kind of packaging cardboard, and I want to turn it into a skirt, so here's the plan. The cardboard comes in long strips, so there's two possible pattern ideas. The issue with cardboard instead of fabric as a medium to make a skirt is its rigidness, its lack of flexibility. So instead of treating it like a fabric and attempting to gather it at the top and have it all just fold over itself and not sway out well and zippers obviously aren't an option, I've decided to treat it like a geometry exercise from grade school. You know the ones where you made a cross shape out of squares, cut it out of the paper, glued it together, and suddenly you had a cube? Net design. Pattern making in the most literal sense. And that is where we dive into the two different applications of trapezoids. Given that the cardboard I have is already in long strips, the first one is the most intuitive. You take the long strips and towards the edge where you want it to be skinnier and come in at the waist but still be big enough for the butt, you make a triangle shape, but not all the way to the point so that the math is easier. Have it cut up at the top, skinnier at the waist, bigger at the hips, and then all the way straight down, creating this carnival tent shape when you get to the end. You make eight of those pieces, put them together at the top, octagon for your waist, going all the way out to a much bigger octagon for your feet. That's design number one. Design number two is a lot more trapezoids. 28 trapezoids, if we're being precise, or 20 more than the first design. You see, instead of just making eight go in a circle around my waist and having it continue all the way down to my legs from there, in this design, we start with one row of much shorter trapezoids and put them together in this square kind of shape. From there, because they've already doubled themselves in width, we can fit another layer, starting with two more per layer of these. As you can see, it expands layer by layer, and instead of the shape of the skirt going out, out, and straight down, it goes out, and out, and out, until you have this ridiculously shaped exponential on purpose this time, instead of on accident like in my last video, shape of a skirt. This one I'm a little bit more nervous about because I've never done a version of it in fabric. The carnival shape is a relatively simple tactic that I've done in fabric before. This is only theoretical and might only work in cardboard. Now to put it together. show you these major Ursula vibes. Each one of these flaps feels like a tentacle. Ursula doesn't have the right amount of tentacles anyways. So I wanted to show you this. Um, but let's go ahead and turn this pink little octopus from Finding Nemo into the carnival tent I started out with. Ah! I love it! Look at it! I have never seen a more like defined silhouette. Definitely limited range of motion as far as steps. But considering the fact that I'm not like fully taped into it and then I'm just fastening it up here with a single piece of duct tape so I can still like walk around and stuff and then also if I like suck in my gut and switch it down a little bit I get that like fake butt from those historical dresses you know like the the bustles with the, with the bum pad thingamajigs which is pretty fun like I put it at my hips instead of pulling it up to my waist but either way it works it works the way that I don't know. I did math correctly, is what I'm saying. This did not take any redirecting. I love it. I did a good job. I, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is going to be the pattern tile for 28 tessellations of this trapezoid in order to complete the second trapezoid cardboard skirt I am making. Let me explain. This tile is 9 inches across the top and 18 inches across the bottom. That way I can fit two more of the exact same thing underneath it to double the width. 
In order to get that 28 number, we start with a layer of four, and then a layer of eight, and then a layer of 16, which only gives us about three layers because of that same exponential format I was talking about earlier. Now that's gonna be a lot of work, but basically these lines on this trapezoid here are my guide. In the center, we have obviously the center point, and then these two lines are four and a half inches out from that center point on either side to make sure that these two angles are exactly the same. Now, because the strips of cardboard that I'm working with are exactly the same height all the way through, I can just trace this out, flip it over, go next, trace that, flip it over, go next, trace that, and continuing all the way down the line so that every single cut pulls out two trapezoids. So it's still gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be significantly less because I did the math ahead of time. Anyways, let's transition to when they're done. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of cardboard. This is 28 of those trapezoids, all cut almost perfectly along the edges. So theoretically, they should fit together rather nicely, but I'm running into a bit of an issue. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Basically, my concept does not make sense in a two-dimensional space. Now, this, double the length of the tops of these, so two of these should equal one of this, correct? Correct. But when I go to do that, because of this angle, it doesn't work. There's a gap here. Now I can overcome that gap by having them simply overlap. But at this point, it's just a very large trapezoid that if I had a large enough piece of cardboard, I could have cut out in the beginning. No, in the spirit of quadraticness that I started this project with, in order to get this full length, of these two pieces to line up with the full length of this piece, I would have to bend this piece in the middle by going into the third dimension, which I don't super want to do because of structural integrity. Not gonna lie, this overlapping giant trapezoid ruffle kind of vibe in a sewing equivalent term looks pretty cool, but it does not mathematically add up to the number of trapezoids that I created. As you can see, first layer has one, second layer two, third layer three. If this was a quadratic pattern that I had originally done the math for, it would go one, two, four, eight, sixteen, eventually totaling to the twenty-eight that I mathed for assuming we started with four, but it's one, two, and three. So I can't do it this way. I have to bend my cardboard, which might make the whole thing fall apart. So wish me luck. Okay, three pieces. Let's see how we do. Thank you, high school math teacher. But take that. Shut up, Pythagoras. This is not your kind of triangle. Didn't Pythagoras do a bunch of other stuff too? Eh, anyways. Duct tape trapezoids together. Now, join them to the bent trapezoid. Measure it, because it is a real trapezoid and not a hypothetical one. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. The first and second layers of this skirt work significantly better than the third. The third layer, at one point, I just had to stop connecting along the diagonals and only connect along the top if I wanted to complete the third layer. And you can see that some of these angles simply stop going chaotically up and down and follow a generalized trapezoid shape which makes it wholly ununiform and creates these rifts and shadows that make it look like it's not very well put together. But it is, this is just where it joins. I still feel like a pointy, like a, like a pointy princess, so I think I did a good job. I just probably should have stopped at the second layer due to the limitations of cardboard. I still think this would be a lot of fun in fabric. In fact, I plan on doing this with fabric and hoping that the more flexibility of that medium will give me a little bit more leeway than some of this cardboard nonsense. Two large trapezoids like I explained with the 2D versus the 3D because it just wouldn't bend like some of the other pieces did. I was realizing this mistake. But this is the commitment to the bit, so enjoy it. Wow! Hey, and I 
just wanted to say, if you're watching and you're still here, thank you so much. Uh, this is recycled cardboard, so I'm not super upset that it kind of came out trashy, because it was trash to begin with. But it did look good, pretty good in the middle there, so I'm happy with my pointy princess self. I mean, if you want to look at something, look at this, okay? Look at this. That is, like, a directly out skirt. Like, that is, this would be like a voriva. This is where the skirt is actually at. Hiya! I am going to rip off that third layer, though, because I'm really proud of how it looked with two layers, and I want to show you guys, so bonus clips. You know, honestly, I really recommend deleting your art. Rip up your creations to shreds. I just spent a couple hours stressing out over that third layer, and I absolutely destroyed it, and it felt so good. Here's the better two-layer skirt in action. Layer that fits around my waist pretty nice. Single overlap, which is great. And the second layer, it goes every other down, up, down, up and it continues down, up, all the way around. And because it is only two layers and a little bit shorter, obviously, it's not wearable as a skirt. But I think it'd be a great costume piece because it works a little bit as a skirt, but it also works a little bit as a dramatic cauldron type piece. I feel like a war turtle right now. Like, I could 1,000% charge something. Like, this looks like a shield. Like, one of those lizards that goes... <gasps> oh, this was entirely worth it. This is entirely worth it. Because now, being that little lizard that waddles around doing its thing, and then suddenly I can go... <laughs> Either that, or bringing it back into, like, a cape format, and suddenly the up corners look like very pointy pauldrons in a dramatic future-esque cape situation. I oh, know that's all right. This is giving Hunger Games District Capital vibes. This is giving I'm so wealthy my fashion is ridiculous vibes. This is pointy get out of my space. <gasps> And then it could be like a v-neck in the front. Definitely, I prefer two layers over three. Because look at this. This is much more manageable, but still utterly ridiculous. Is really pretty. Basic 12 that I do have here is very much fun. <laughs> what if I wore this on top of, I have a, one second, I have a bad idea. Oh, that's something. That's something. I put both the skirts together as like an underskirt and an overskirt thing and now I can look decent in public and still wear both ridiculous- This looks good! Like this doesn't suck! And it also hides the fact that the carnival tent is already coming undone! Oh my gosh! Yes! This is- this is thumbnail material right here. Ah! And it still looks out like pretty solidly so wow! <laughs> Cardboard. This is literal trash, but it looks good, bro. Look at me go. Look at me go. Thank you for sticking around for the bonus content. I it was so worth it. I'm so glad I did this. Delete your art, kids. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. If I didn't get the mistake, I wouldn't be here. So live and learn. Live and learn. Ah, and it all falls apart. <laughs>